on this model, you have the inferior vena cava, you have the descending abdominal aorta. This large vessel that comes out right here is the meso superior mesenteric artery. The smaller one right here is the inferior mesenteric artery. These vessels that come off towards the kidney are the renal arteries, and then we have the renal veins. This model is inappropriate for the iliacs because it doesn't show the internal, external, and common, so I wouldn't use that model for those vessels, okay? This model has the mesenteric veins on it. Right? So if I do the mesentery, the mesenteric veins are the purple veins that you see here. Right? Uh, when we looked at the cats today, the mesentery was clear and you could see the vessels going out okay. to the small intestine. Very neat stuff. Right? Yeah. So that's the mesenteric veins, superior mesenteric artery, inferior mesenteric artery. So that's the big ones there. Okay. All right. Now this guy's a little bit more complicated. It has some different structures and there's not a lot on this model that I like. However, right, if I know that the aorta arches out of the heart. I know that this is the descending thoracic aorta. Right? So that much I know. Another thing that I know is that if blood's going to come back through, and this is supposed to be a, a, a vessel, a vein, right? This is probably the superior vena cava. This is the brachiocephalic vein. You want me to tilt it? Yeah. All right. So brachiocephalic vein, brachiocephalic vein. Then this would be the internal jugular number 48 and 50 on the model, and this would be the right subclavian, number 47, and the left subclavian veins. Okay. Right? Now, I don't really like the way this looks for the arteries, and I probably use a regular heart to do the arteries coming off of the aortic arch. Okay. Now, next. This guy's a little bit more complex because he has lots of different vessels in different areas. We have uh, again, the superior vena cava. The brachiocephalic veins are right here and right here. They're going to split into the in internal jugular and the right subclavian vein, internal jugular, left subclavian vein. Here I have again, I'm at the top of the aorta. I know this is the brachiocephalic artery and that this is the right common carotid and this is the right subclavian. Mm -hmm. The next vessel that comes off the aortic arch is the left common carotid and so that's going to go straight up and then they don't even show it to you really but the left subclavian is the third vessel that comes off that aortic arch and it's right here. If I turn the model a little bit, up here you have the internal carotid artery and the external carotid. Right? Remember internal is always towards the midline, uh, so closest to the middle. Right? External is going to be away. Internal is what's going to go up into the circle of Willis and feed the brain, oxygenated blood, and the external is going to actually pass the outside and feed blood to the outside of the skull and, and uh, the tissues that surround the skull. Oops, sorry. You got the descending uh, thoracic aorta comes down again, we have the descending abdominal aorta. This is the superior mesenteric artery, so I'm repeating. Inferior mesenteric artery. And now we have good iliacs, all right? I have the, what would be right and or left, all right? <clears throat> Common iliac artery that will split, so it forks, all right? And one part goes inside, let me point at that, this part right here. That goes inside. That's the internal iliac artery. This is the external iliac artery. Over here, I have the common iliac right here, and then it forks again. Internal iliac artery, external iliac artery. Now, the veins go the same exact way. You have common iliac vein, and then on, on this model, they don't do a really good job of showing you the internal iliac vein, but they do show you the external one. All right, and so you can see the external iliac vein pretty well. That's going to travel down. Uh, the iliac will change over into essentially the femorals as we get into the upper leg. All right, that's going to be the femoral artery, but this is going to be, and it's going to go deep into the leg, where this is going to be the great saphenous vein right, on the surface in between the skin and the muscle.
Okay. All right, so that's most of the vessels that are that on that one. Time out. What's this? This is an extension of this, right? Um, these are actually lymph nodes. No, no, no. The blue here. The blue, yeah. It's the great saphenous vein. and actually runs towards the inside of the inner thigh. All okay. right. Good question. Mm -hmm. All right. I know you guys have done this before, but we'll do a quick, quick one more time. Thank you. All right. So we have the ascending aorta. This is the arch, the bent, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the descending thoracic aorta, so you know which cavity it's in. First vessel off is the brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid, and left subclavian. Left subclavian. Uh -huh. All right. That's good. No, that's good. You guys are learning. Pulmonary trunk splits into the pulmonary arteries because it's taking blood away from the heart. And so these guys right here, I'm going to get my fingers on them. All right. Blood goes to the lungs. Oxygenation comes back through the pulmonary veins. These four structures that you see back here, and it's kind of hard to see them, these are the pulmonary veins. Okay. All right. Um, another thing that's good on this heart. Is I have the superior vena cava, and then again I have the brachiocephalic veins. So how many brachiocephalic veins are there? And how many? And how many brachiocephalic arteries are there? No, it's one. There's one. Okay. This one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's two. So that's the vein. And the two, two veins, arteries. one artery. See, I wrote that on my paper. Two veins. Two veins, one, one artery. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. You guys are doing great. And then don't forget the inferior vena cava, also at the bottom of the heart. Okay. Those you probably remember from doing the heart section. Okay. This is Are a you better model. Anything? Yes. This is a much better model, I think. Yeah, Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll go over as many times okay. as you need. This is a much better model for the iliacs. You have the common iliac artery. It's going to split into the external iliac and the internal. So number 22 and number 24. All right. Internal is 24, external is 22, heading towards the leg. The iliac vein, the common iliac vein is here, splits into to the external iliac vein, and then this one has the internal iliac vein on it. So that's 23 and 25. Okay. okay. All right. Well, two and a half minutes to make it a 10 minute video. Okay. We want to make sure we, we talked about gastric arteries, all right? And all I'm interested in is that you get me the gastric artery, not necessarily that you get me the left gastric artery, just gastric artery will do. So the vessel that runs around the um, stomach, okay? okay. Say it again, Mr. what? Gastric artery. Then we have, okay, then we have, this is the splenic artery, so it's coming into the spleen. So the splenic artery and the splenic vein, both coming into the spleen on this particular model, okay? Okay. Um, we don't have any arms and legs. Can you, arms and legs? Do you guys want to do the arms and legs? If they're on the lab practical, we sure do. Okay. Where are they? They're over. Cool.